In this video, I'm going to show you how to change color of objects without making any selections using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Druel here and uh, we don't have any final output yet, but I'm going to show you this trick on four different types of images. One, a uh, photo of this simple car where we have one dominant color, super easy to change. Uh, second, we have a photo of this gentleman with red color on t-shirt and also red color on the skin. After that, we have this photo where clothing has very complex printing on it and the making selection would be really difficult. Then we have this photo where two different colors are actually mixing into one another. And it is also a good example where this effect does not work. So now let's start with the first photo. We have photo of this car with red color and there is no red in entire photo. So what can we do? You can go to your adjustment and get a selective color and in selective color make sure you select your reds and then you can change it to any color you want. For example, if I add like lots of cyan, it will remove the red and the car is kind of black. Then you can add magenta to make it green or then you can add a little bit of yellow to change its shade or change it color uh, hue entirely. Depends on you, whatever you wanna do. And you can also use blacks as well to you know manipulate color even further to make it lighter or darker shades. Okay, now let's go to another photo and here. Now here the biggest issue is that red is on the sweater and also in the skin tone. So if we try to do the same thing we did last time, go to adjustment, get selective colors and in the red. And in the reds, if I try to change anything, yes it will change but it will also change the color on skin. We don't want that. So instead of doing this, let's delete this one. Go to your adjustment and get a hue saturation. Now in hue saturation, again we have the same color options. Go to red and change something. And as you can see, skin is again getting affected. But in hue saturation, we have the slider where you can kind of specify what type of red or what type of color you want. So if I change the slider to the left, as you can see, now only the sweater is getting affected and not the skin. So now if we change the sliders, see, uh -huh, super useful. Also keep in mind that when you change the hue, you will also have to adjust the saturation and lightness according to that particular color only changing hue will not work but it's still the sliders so for example this one looks super cool and we can do the same with background uh, let's go here and get cyans you also have to decide the difference between cyan and blue and also like red and magentas for example if i directly go to my blues and i change it it's not gonna look that effective but instead i go to my let's say cyan and then change it as you can see the changes are a lot more noticeable so here we can change it to something like this. This blue looks good, then decrease the saturation so it blends in real nice. Little bit of change in lightness and bam! We have a completely different look without making any selection. And also look at this hands free. Making selection would have been a little bit difficult. So this is clear. Now let's look at something even more complex. This photo. We have many different colors on this really complex print. Uh, so same trick will work here just as well. Not only that, but you can also use selective color for this blue only. So go here and get selective color and then here go to your blue and then change it. As you can see, you can change it to certain extent, not a lot though. So this kind of looks fine and then you can, that's pretty much it actually. You cannot do anything. So go delete this one. Again, go to hue saturation. And here I'm gonna first go to yellows and change it but uh, if I zoom in the skin color is also getting affected so let's try to change the slider uh, and we are in the clear so now we can change it to whatever color we like I think this one looks uh, really nice uh, then let's try to fix uh, shade of this blue so I'm gonna go and select this is clearly blue no need for cyan so go to blues and then change it to something that goes well with the pink shade. And it's done. So look at after before. Without any selection, changing color of something this complex. Uh, after that, let's go to the final photo. Now this is where you will see that this effect is not foolproof and it doesn't work everywhere. 
Uh, let's go here and then get the hue saturation again. And this time, uh, let's decide the colors. It's kind of a greenish tone mixing with cyan. But there's a little bit of blue shade as well. Pretty complex for hue saturation. So I'm gonna go and select the cyans and then try to change it. So we can do it, but it's like it's really patchy and not smooth. Uh, so let's try to adjust the slider. And it still is not giving the exact output that I want. So I'm gonna go and keep trying. This looks all right, I guess. There's changes in the sky as well, but we can mask that out. Uh, so let's go and try to change the saturation and something. Let's go to the greens and try to fix it. As you can see, it's changing, but it doesn't look that well. Like it's very flat and I don't like it. So let's try to change it to something else. Okay, now it's kind of acceptable. So we changed the color of glasses. Let's zoom out a little bit. The glasses, they look, glasses, they look okay. Uh, and for the sky, you can get your brush tool, black color, right click and make sure hardness is 0%. Then make your brush really big and just erase the sky like this. I know we are doing a little bit of masking, but it's uh, still better than selection. So here, yes, we were able to change colors, but I would rather recommend making selection of the glasses or using layer mask for that. So that's pretty much it. And I hope you find this trick useful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, ask me in comment section below. If you want to check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.